the Rugby World Cup final has Les Bleu working hard as they prepare to battle the home team, New Zealand's All Blacks. And just down the road from their training ground on Auckland's North Shore, some French fans are settling into the parking spot they will call home for the next few days, after three weeks on the road. The steering wheel is on the right side, obviously, and that's a change from driving in France. Thousands of rugby fans decided to follow a New Zealand tradition and jump into motorhomes during the six-week sporting event. Holiday parks, including four temporary sites in Auckland, have been booked solid for match weekends as fans take advantage of the freedom of accommodation on wheels. This is the living room, lounge, kitchen, shower, the complete package. During the day, we put the table up, and in the evening, the table comes out, and this turns into a bed. This newly married couple from the Lorraine region of France first met playing rugby, so what better than a mobile honeymoon suite on the World Cup circuit? The camper van lets us move around with our home on our backs, so we can go all around seeing the scenery that we would have missed if we were just staying in the cities or taking aeroplanes. Rental agencies report that business is booming, and that's just one part of the camper van community. And a lot of people seem to have bought their vans, or bought their cars and things like that, just picked them up cheap when they arrive in Auckland and just travelled around like that. And obviously when they finish, they'll just get rid of them and give them back or sell them as quickly as they can. These three Irish brothers have been exploring New Zealand's roads throughout the competition. And no matter that Ireland got knocked out in the quarterfinals, the men are happy to celebrate with their camper van compadres. Which ones will depend, of course, on which country claims the trophy. That's cool.